I am Anila Thomas. Today, I am going to explain a lesson Water Pollution of Class 8 Biology. Air is the important resource for human survival. In the same way, water plays vital role in our lives. Human civilization developed on the banks of rivers. How the water is polluted? Water is a unique substance because it can naturally renew and cleanse itself by allowing pollutants to settle down by sedimentation process. We know that water is becoming scarce due to increase in population and is utilized at a large scale for industries and agricultural activities. The addition of some materials to the water changes its quality, smell and color. Whenever harmful substances such as sewage, toxic chemicals, silt, etc. get mixed with water, the water becomes polluted. The substances that pollute water are called water pollutants. After the completion of the lesson, you will be learning about Definition of water pollution Causes and sources of water pollution Harmful effects of water pollution Portable water and water purification Measures to control water pollution. Key words of the lesson. Water pollution, portable water, toxic industrial wastes, fertilizers, pesticides, Reduce, reuse and recycle. After industrial revolution, water resources are being polluted. Water pollution is another hazard caused by greedy human activities. The major sources of water pollution are Household wastes, industrial sewage, and agriculture runoff like fertilizers and pesticides. Normal water is colorless without any smell or any unwanted substances. Most of the water resources like rivers, tanks and canals are being polluted by adding various pollutants from factories and garbage. Rivers with a great background and good resource water for drinking and agriculture are now becoming water stagnated dumping garbage. Let's know about the sad story of major rivers. River Ganga 
Ganga is one of the most famous rivers of India. It sustains most of the northern, central and eastern Indian population. However, recently a study by the World Wide Fund for Nature found that Ganga is one of the 10 most endangered rivers in the world. The pollution levels have been rising for many years. We have reached this stage because the towns and cities through which the river flows throw large quantities of garbage, untreated sewage, dead bodies and many other harmful things directly into the river. In fact, the river is dead at many places where the pollution levels are so high that aquatic life cannot survive. An ambitious plan to save the river called the Ganga Action Plan was launched in 1985. It aimed to reduce the pollution levels in the river. However, the increasing population and industrialization have already damaged this mighty river beyond repair. Now, the government of India has launched a new initiative known as National Mission for Clean Ganga in 2016. Let's know about the story of River Musi. Similar to River Ganga, the Musi River of Hyderabad has been polluted for many years. The people living near the Musi River throw large quantities of garbage, untreated sewage, industrial waste, dead bodies, polythene bags and statues of deities and many other materials directly into the river. The Musi Reservoir Action Plan project was undertaken to reduce the pollution level in the river. Pollution of Groundwater We know the importance of pesticides and weedicides for the protection of crops. However, all these chemicals dissolve in the water and are washed into water bodies from the fields. They also seep into the ground, polluting Groundwater. Do you know why ponds look green from a distance? This is because they have a lot of algae growing in them. This is caused by excessive quantities of chemicals which get washed from the fields. These act as nutrients for algae to flourish. This process is called eutrophication. Once these algae die, 
they serve as food for decomposers like bacteria. A lot of oxygen in the water body gets used up. This results in a decrease in the oxygen level which may kill aquatic organisms. Pollution of water bodies Sometimes untreated sewage is thrown directly into rivers. It contains food wastes, detergents, microorganisms, etc. Groundwater gets polluted by sewage. Water contaminated with sewage may contain bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites which cause diseases like cholera, typhoid, jaundice, etc. The bacteria present in the feces of mammals are indicators of the quality of water. If water has these bacteria, it means that it has been contaminated by fecal matter. If such water is used by us, it can cause various infections. What is potable water and how water is purified? The water which looks clean may still have disease carrying microorganisms and dissolved impurities. So, it is essential to purify water before drinking, for example, by boiling. Water which is suitable for drinking is called potable water. We know that various physical and chemical processes are carried out in the sewage treatment plants that help to clean water before discharging it into water bodies. Similarly, municipal bodies treat the water before supplying it to the households. Let us see how water can be made safe for drinking. We know about water filtration. This is a physical method of removing impurities. Many households use boiling as a method for obtaining safe drinking water. Boiling kills the germs present in the water. Chlorination is a commonly used chemical method for the purification of water. It is done by adding chlorine tablets or bleaching powder to the water. The chlorine tablets should not be used more than specified. Effects of water pollution Water pollution may have great impact on human health. The effects of water pollution on humans animals and plants are shown below.
measures for prevention and controlling of water pollution. Water pollution can be prevented or minimized by the following measures. Toxic industrial waste should be treated chemically to neutralize the harmful substances present in it before discharging into rivers and lakes. The sewage should not be dumped into the rivers directly and is treated at the sewage treatment plant to remove the organic matter. The use of excessive fertilizers and pesticides should be avoided. Dead bodies of human and animals should not be thrown into the rivers. The excreta and other garbage should be treated in a biogas plant to get fuel and manure. The water of rivers, streams, ponds and lakes should be purified or cleaned. This can be done both by the industries and the government. For example, Ganga Action Plan launched by the Indian government. Trees and shrubs should be planted along the banks of the rivers. There should be general awareness among the masses regarding the harmful effects and the ways of prevention of water pollution. Follow 3 R's principles. Reduce, reuse and recycle to prevent pollution and recover resources. Reduce the usage of the materials to the extent possible. Once the materials are used for their primary purpose, reuse them for some secondary purpose. Recycling is the next stage of reuse. Most of the materials can be recycled for using again. Natural resources are the divine gift for us by the nature. And these should be kept clean and healthy, not only for us, but also for the future generations. Key points of the lesson. Water pollution is the contamination of water by substances harmful to life. Sewage, agricultural chemicals and industrial waste are some of the major contaminants of water. Water which is purified and fit for drinking is known as Portable water. Water is a precious natural resource. We must learn to conserve it and avoid activities causing pollution.